Okay, good morning. It is June 1st, 2023, and we are in Seward, Alaska. Uh, I gave up on 20 Mile River. 20 Mile River hooligan in 2023 was kind of a bust. We had a couple good days, but a lot of bad days. Uh, it was real spotty. Um, so, since we didn't uh, fill our cooler as much as we liked with a hooligan from 20 Mile River, we came down to Seward and are on Nash Road here. Uh, this is the first time I fished Tooligan here. It is not packed, but I thought I'd give you a walkthrough of the place uh, to show you what it's like and what you can expect if you come down here. We came down here in an RV, um, and that was not a bad decision. But uh, let me do a quick walkthrough for you here and show you what the first bridge on Nash Road in Seward is like for uh, hooligan fishing. Uh, all right, uh, let's, uh, let's get it done. All right, here we are on Nash Road in Seward, Alaska. Came down here to try our hand at the hooligan here. So I'm looking towards Seward Highway. This is uh, right before you get into the town of Seward. Take a, as you're coming into Seward, uh, take a left on Nash Road and it's uh, that's what, about a mile down there. It's the first bridge, okay? As you're coming down here, there's two parking lots. One is the one I'm looking at uh, right here. You come in uh, right here, okay? And there's a little bit of parking there, not a whole lot. Um, you could get one, maybe two RVs in there, but I don't recommend parking there because uh, other people will come in. You won't be able to get out. You park in there. Uh, there's a trail that goes all the way down the river, so you can go down that side. Okay, you got a couple people uh, uh, dip netting for hooligan right now. It's a little uh, little early right now. Uh, high tide's in two hours and here at uh, on Nash Road the the hooligan come in and pulses usually after high tide. Sometimes right at high tide, uh, sometimes <clears throat> all the way down to almost low tide but they come in pulses. Uh, so if you uh, if you start too early then you're not going to get anything and, and from what I've found uh, this place if you don't if you if you miss the pulse, there's really not a whole lot to catch on on the on the shoulders. Okay, so you miss the pulse, then go into town, have some dinner, have some lunch, have a beer, um, and come back uh, the next cycle. But uh, uh, the pulses seem to last 30 minutes to an hour, and uh, uh, that's what you got. Okay, so uh, the nice thing about this spot is there's not, a, there's not mud and not silt. If you're used to the, 20, the mud and silt of 20 Mile River, um, then you'll be very pleasantly surprised. It's a nice gravel bottom. Um, it's actually really shallow. Um, so uh, waders is always nice, but you don't absolutely need waders. You could probably reach uh, enough fish just with, uh, just with your mud boots, with your extra tufts, okay? And you're not gonna get stuck in the mud, okay? Um, the other entrance, Okay, so that's the first one. That's just a little uh, little parking lot up here that we we're just talking about. Uh, the other one, if you go across the bridge, okay, and come up here, and then here's the second entrance. And this is a much bigger pad. You see, there's a RV, couple RVs there, a big gravel uh, pile in the middle there, uh, and this is much nicer. So we'll walk down there. Uh, but right now we'll walk down along the river, just kind of give you an idea of what uh, what we've got here. It's kind of a nice little, it's really nice. Actually, I like this spot better than 20 miles, especially if you have some kids. Um, it's a lot safer, The river, there's no mud to get stuck in. Uh, if you fall in the river, it's shallow. Obviously, it's still cold, um, but it's, it's not something that you're kind of scared to take your kids. So I'm just gonna walk down along here. There are some people fishing, so I don't wanna crowd up on them. Um, we did, uh, last night, we saw a moose. So there are moose in the area back in the brush there. So we actually, uh, while we were fishing, a little bit bigger one came and crossed the river right in front of us. We backed out and gave them the right of way, gave them a little space, and uh, he uh, he made his way, got out of got out of the area, and we moved back in. So no big deal. But there are moose in the area, so give them some space. Okay, both sides of the river, lots of spaces to get down. Uh, and people have been doing pretty good this year here, uh, but it is, as I'd like to say, pulsy. Okay, so if you come down and there's nothing, then, you know, take a break, have some lunch, give it a try in another hour. Um, be 
because uh, if, if there's nothing, then there's absolutely nothing. If they're thick, then they're absolutely thick. Okay. I decided to do this walkthrough now because it's not thick now, and a lot of the uh, a lot of the fishermen have uh, you know gone to take their break, so I'm not crowding up on people making videos of you know people that don't necessarily want to have their picture taken. Okay. As far as uh, everything else, it's absolutely beautiful here. You know, if you're, uh, you know, this is the standard Alaska Vista. A uh, little bit of clouds uh, on the top of the mountains there, but, uh, you know, this is Seward, Alaska. If you've been here, you know. If you haven't been here, then you don't know. But it's absolutely beautiful. Okay, so I'll just walk around. This isn't going to be a long video. This is not a huge spot. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, uh, here's the pad here. So if you're bringing down an RV, Go across the bridge to the right, to the uh, to the driveway here. Uh, park along the edge. Try to stay out of the way. Um, right at high tide, this place will be not full, but definitely certainly busier. Uh, so don't expect to be able to get out any time you want. But it's really not all that busy. I hope this video doesn't change that. Um, but uh, again, if you've got kids, now this is three hours from Anchorage. Okay, so there's a little bit of a commit to come down here, do a suicide run down from Anchorage. Uh, or stay a night or two. Uh, this isn't an official campground. I don't know who owns this. If this is public property or if this is just a generous soul who's letting the public use it. Um, but, uh, like anything else, please pack out your garbage. And take a minute to pack out somebody else's garbage. Because it doesn't take too many thoughtless, careless people to ruin it for everybody else. And there is some garbage around here. I'm going to have my kids pick up some... Uh, some garbage before we leave do our part um, but uh, you know do your part pick up some garbage um, people do have campfires here okay and uh, they left a little bit of firewood so maybe maybe we'll repurpose that okay pick up your garbage don't leave it here you want to ruin this spot leave your garbage here it'll be closed there'll be a gate on it private property owner city whoever owns it will have say enough's enough and then you won't be able to use this. So pick up your garbage. Now, the other thing is, folks, you know, none of us fish in order to make a living here, right? Okay, it's a lot cheaper. If you go to the grocery store, buy your fish, go home and watch TV. So if you don't catch any fish, this is this is what you're looking at. So it's absolutely beautiful. So you know what? I don't really care if I don't catch fish. Okay, uh, we've already caught a few. Um, it hasn't been super hot, but it hasn't been dead, so it's been kind of medium. Um, but even if I caught absolutely no fish, this is just, just this is God's country out here. Okay. Got mountains over there to the right. There's some mountains to the left, a little further out, but it's all covered with clouds today. Okay. Uh, one of those RVs is up here on the left, so I will politely keep the camera pointed this way oh that's a shame all right so I was talking with the couple who had this campfire last night and they're a really nice couple but uh, they left a left an aluminum can in the fire so I'll go ahead and grab that for them uh, don't think any less of them per se but uh, again pick up your garbage folks uh, Alaska is a beautiful state and has some amazing resources it doesn't take much for some uh, inconsiderates to ruin it for everybody else walk over this uh, generator here uh, down here <clears throat> downstream of the second parking lot there's some little deeper spots um, I've had some good luck down here um, when they're running heavy uh, this little deep spot here is pretty thick but don't fight for these spots folks when they're running heavy this is a small creek they're everywhere in here okay they're real I mean when they're when they're running uh, when the hooligans start running, uh, there is slightly better spots and better spots. Or better spots and slightly better spots. Um, more water bottles. I'll grab that. Pick up your trash. Okay. This isn't as bad as 20 Mile. There isn't piles of toilet paper and uh, associated stuff. It's a lot cleaner than 20 Mile. The further away you get from Anchorage, the cleaner things get. If that offends you, then uh, then pick up your stuff even better. But uh, this is three hours from Anchorage, so it's actually pretty clean. 
but it doesn't mean that they aren't still inconsiderate to uh, leave their trash. Anyway, uh, don't you don't need to fight for spots, please. Um, be considerate. Uh, this is a small stream. When the pulse comes, this whole stream, other than you can kind of, I don't know if you can see in the video, but there's some shallow spots right here and up there you'll be able to see them where it's not even one net width deep. All right, that's probably not the best place to uh, uh, fish for hooligan. But uh, the whole river's pretty much full, so the, you don't need to fight for the best spot. Okay? Uh, my experience here so far has been that this is kind of a little bit of the old Alaska style, in that uh, everyone's kind of talking and having fun. Um, don't avoid other people. People want to talk. Um, you'll have people come up to you and just ask how you are, where you're from. They're just, they're just here to talk. This is not, at least in my experience, this is not combat fishing on the Russian or, you know, a bunch of, bunch of strangers, drunk strangers at 20 mile or anything. This is just, this is just Alaska, folks. Okay, don't ruin that. Bring your kids. Um, I, this is one of, the, one of the places I'm not afraid to let my kids out a little bit. You gotta keep an eye out for moose. That is a river. It is a cold river, but it's not a ridiculously fast river. Okay, so uh, I bring out my little kids. Okay, oh good. Some chips left off in the tree. I'll grab that later too. Okay, uh, there is this, uh, on this side of the river, there's this little road, goes back in there. There's another little turnaround in there. Uh, from what I can tell, you could bring an RV back here if you wanted to. Um, I don't see any signs of who owns this property. Um, so I did not, and I'm not going to bring my RV back here. Uh, again, on the, I, I don't need to. There's room where we are. Uh, but there's some little campsites back in here, and uh, uh, not too bad. Okay, that moose that we saw yesterday was back in here. So again, keep an eye out for moose. But if you have the time and the interest in hooligan, okay, this is not a salmon fishing river. That doesn't mean there's not salmon in here, but uh, it's closed for salmon fishing. So uh, you're not going to be salmon fishing here. If I'm wrong, put that in the comments. Uh, but as far as I could read, uh, there's no, there is no salmon fishing in this river. Freshwater uh, rivers in Seward are closed to salmon fishing. Uh, which means if you actually accidentally get a, a red or something in your uh, hooligan net, which is possible, you know, admire it, snap a picture, then let it go. Don't take it out of the water. Um, a, it's not ethical. This is their uh, breeding ground. So you want to let them go for the next uh, deal. Uh, the other is uh, Mr. Ranger is certainly around peeking through the brushes, uh, bushes. And if, uh, if you think you're being sneaky, that's uh, pretty much when you're going to get caught doing something sneaky. So uh, it's just not worth it. If you catch a, catch a salmon, uh, there's also little salmon smolt uh, around. Now your hooligan net will let them through, so you won't, uh, they won't catch in your net. Uh, but if they happen to get caught up in your net, don't take them out of the water. You know, gently let them back. If those little guys uh, want to come back in a few years as a full-size salmon. You want them to, and they have enough challenges enough other than getting uh, caught up in a hooligan net. Okay. Uh, you will see the seagulls up there, especially up around in the shallows right here, uh, trying to catch the, the little salmon smolt, <clears throat> and they are uh, of varying degrees of success. I actually love this spot, guys. Um, you know, a lot of the fishing in Alaska, a lot of the good fishing spots are not as relaxing and as picturesque as you might think. You're shoulder to shoulder with everybody else. You know, you're hip deep in uh, glacial silt and mud. The water's cold, you know, whatever. It's a lot of fun, don't get me wrong. But as far as the river runs through at Walden feel, uh, it's not as common as uh, maybe Discovery Channel might make you think. But uh, that is actually not the case here. This is a pretty nice little river. Let the kids run out, get out. Somebody left their gloves the other day. And we put them up in the tree, so if they come back, they'll easily find it. That's... That's not trash. Okay, if you find something that looks like somebody might want, might come back for, you know, put it up in a tree, put it up visible so they can find it. Um, you know, uh, finders keepers rules apply out here like anywhere else, but uh, you know, if you don't, if you wanna make sure it gets back to its owner, at least put it up high so they can see it when they come back. But uh, yeah, so this is the hooligan, hooligan, <laughs> can't talk this morning. Hooligan.
fishing spot at the first bridge of Nash Road in Seward. Beautiful little spot. A little bit of a run from Anchorage. Bring your kids, have a little fire. Please pick up your trash. Um, we've got a beautiful state here. And, uh, you know, if you want an economic reason to uh, pick up your trash, you know, maybe back in the day Alaska made its money off uh, gold timber and fishing. Well, now it's gold timber fishing and tourism. So if you leave your trash out, you're just hurting yourself. Pick it up. Take it home. Pick somebody else's trash up. Say a prayer for their inconsideracy and uh, we'll all be better off for it. But yeah, so here we go. First bridge off Nash Road in Seward, Alaska. Again, it's empty now, not because the fish aren't here, but because it's uh, before high tide and the fish aren't here. Uh, but the fish will be here after high tide. So sometimes right at high tide, sometimes an hour or two, sometimes four or five hours on an odd day. But uh, there it is. So look forward to seeing you down here. Have a good day.